So one thing that I constantly say that I do on this channel is I love to be able to experiment with different settings, with different things as far as when it comes to mining. I really, really enjoy, believe it or not, I really enjoy being able to test different algorithms, test different overclock settings, te test different variations, configurations, and so on and so forth with these graphics cards, with mining uh, the different algorithms and different coins. It's so much fun for me and if you guys read the title and you saw the thumbnail you know what this is about we're talking about some more ergo but specifically something that i noticed something that i picked up and uh we're gonna talk about this but before we do make sure you guys are hitting the thumbs up subscribe if you guys are new we just hit a thousand subs thank you guys so much for the continued support thank you guys so much for for getting us to that point, it really, really, truly means a lot that we're here. Keep it going. I want to see it reach the reach the moon, just like our cryptocurrencies are going for the moon. I want to see it. Help me to get there. I'm going to the moon. I want to see you guys there. So my question to you guys, before we get started, what little tips and tricks have you figured out or you noticed when it comes to mining different algorithms that might get you a little bit more hash rate for whatever it is you're mining that's my question for you guys today so today we're talking about ergo and my 3060 lhr and the reason why we're going back to this subject again is because i noticed something and this was something I noticed in a in a prior video when I was uh, when I was testing the settings on my 3060 and and all of that, but I didn't notice this right away. And what I'm talking about is the 3060 LHR gets a different hash rate if you have it mining directly connected to your motherboard versus a GPU riser. And and. The GPU riser has to be connected to PCIe one slot. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Not the 16 slot PCIe. I don't currently have my uh, my 3060 connected to a 16 slot on my motherboard. I have it on a GPU riser connected to the PCIe one time slot. So I noticed that. When I have it connected to the motherboard, the most that I can push out of the 3060 when mining is 110 mega hash on Ergo. But on a GPU riser, I've been able to get up to 117 mega hash on a GPU riser. Now I know it's only 7 mega hash. It's not, not that big a deal. But for those of you guys who are trying to get the most out of your card... Maybe it's something to keep in mind when it comes to the 3060s. Um, and and again, like I said, the most, because I mean, I would say it averages out at about 114, 115 mega hash is where it will like stabilize. It'll peak at 117. It'll sometimes go down to like 113. Um, but it seems to stabilize 114, 115. But I just thought it was very interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and, get, and show you guys uh, exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm going to show you my 3060 connected to my uh my pc via a usb or usb yeah connected via usb no no connected via the uh gpu riser on the pcie uh one time slot so let's go ahead and switch on over to the mining all right so i've left it mining for a good while on ergo and here we go so 113 mega hash on ergo if it's connected through PCIe slot uh, or slot one PCIe times one slot on a riser if you don't believe me here we go so this right here this one right here is my 3060 it's on a GPU riser the riser is on the bottom one which is the times one slot right there sorry about the fan noise but uh, that's you know that's what happens. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to turn off my computer. I'm going to reinstall the 3060 into the uh, slot where the where the 2070 is. And then I will go ahead and let it run. 
so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. I won't be able to get more than 110. Um, I was getting 115 before, but I guess for whatever reason it didn't. It, it settled at 113. It's like, nope, I'm not doing any more. But yeah, there we go. That's um, you know the experiment for right now. But I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it. All right, so now I have the 3060 hooked up to direct on my motherboard. And this is where it gets weird because you see a whole bunch of fluctuations. It'll go from 105, then 99, 86, 112, 113. Like it's, it just goes crazy, right? And here's the thing. It'll eventually stabilize. It, I've had it running for maybe uh, 15 minutes, something like that. It'll eventually stabilize at about 110 to maybe 112 if I'm lucky. But to get 112, I actually need to turn up the power limit by 1% and increase the memory clock by 100. So it, it, this is just the weirdest thing. If anybody can figure out why it does this, I would love to know. But my speculation would be that because Ergo does not like a lot of power, it prefers when, um, when you drop the power limit so that way you can, you can mine properly. Um, so my speculation is that because the card is getting more power being direct onto the motherboard versus being on a GPU riser and connected to the PCIe slot one. I think that's why I'm getting a lower hash rate as well as maybe higher, like more fluctuations on the hash rates. Uh, but yeah, in order to get this 112, like I said, I had to increase the power limit by 1% and increase the memory clock by 100. So memory clock is sitting at 1400 right now. Um, it's, this is just weird. It's very weird. So there it is. Uh, the, you guys saw it. I left it mining for a while. So that way it could stabilize and uh, do what it, was, you know, what it needed to do. Um, again, I thought this was very interesting. Maybe you guys are just like, nah, it's kind of whatever. But none of the other cards do this, right? So like my, my 1080 doesn't do this. My 2070 doesn't do this. It's only the 3060. The 3060 version 2, the LHR version 2, seems to be a wild card when it comes to mining. Like, there's so many different variations when it comes to overclock settings and getting so many different results. There's so many different uh, different things that you can just do with these cards. It's just crazy the way that they react to some of these uh, algorithms when they mine. Uh, and the LHR really only affects Ethereum when it comes to limiting hash rate. But at the same time, there's something with this card that it fluctuates and variates so much when it comes to certain algorithms such as Ergo. Uh, Ravencoin doesn't fluctuate. It stayed pretty much, you know, uh, I think it was like 23, 24 mega hash is what I got it at and just stayed there. Um, Conflux, it, it stays pretty solid, stable as well. Even even Ethereum when we do the NB miner. Uh, but we're going to talk about the Ethereum NB miner thing in a different video because I have more to say about that. But um, yeah, so that's 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 my experiment, I guess. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. And if you haven't done so yet, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new. Like I said, we just hit a 1,000. Help me get to the moon. I'm, I've got my bags packed. But I, I need to pack some more. So, everybody, thank you so much. Happy mining.